Good morning, viewers, and welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're still in Canada. Morgan, again, we were with Morgan uh, in August this past year. So that's what we saw last time. But today, again, the ground is frozen, it's cold out, and we have 6015s, 395s, D10s, 777s, 789s, all of that just behind me. This is reclamation work for Sin Crude. So they are removing some overburden material, they're removing some topsoil, and they're placing it in another part of the mine for the sake of reclamation so that they can plant trees and revegetate the ground. We're going on about 8.45 in the morning. The sun is just starting to come up here. Shift change just happened. So they run two shifts. There's a night shift, there's a day shift. Shift change, these guys just came in here. So what's happening now is he got his first trucks loaded. They're off to the fill. It's about a 10 kilometer round trip. It's a long haul, that's a long ways away. So while the trucks are gone, he's just in here getting his cut set up for the day. So he's moving his material around. He's getting a nice bench for himself. He's just getting tidied up. And that is the telltale sign of a good hoe man, good excavator operator. You're not just loading trucks in a fast manner. A lot of people can do that pretty effectively, but you're thinking ahead, you're planning, and you're preparing for your truck so that when your trucks do get here, you can get them in and out as quickly as possible. There's no wasted time. Okay, for you, why aren't they loading the trucks on the bottom, people? It's because it's, like I said, it's been a little warm over the past few days. It's not been cold enough for all this ground to be frozen yet. There's cold coming in tonight, so the next few weeks are gonna be really damn cold. We're getting out of here tomorrow, so perfect. But all of this ground will freeze in a matter of a few days. Once it's frozen, then they can run trucks down below here. But if they ran these trucks down below here right now, they would just get stuck. It doesn't look very soft, but it is soft because this is the very top layer of the mine. Look at the beautiful sunrise. This is a new section of the mine. To get here, we just passed a bunch of 4,100 shovels, 495s, 797 haul trucks. All of this, the shovels will take over once Morgan is done. But what Morgan is doing is they're stripping away the topsoil and then the subsoil. This is that base layer in between the topsoil, which is nutrient dense and the overburden. It's still very important from a reclamation standpoint. So they come in here and strip it all away, haul it to the stockpile, the dump we were just at, 
and then they'll pull from that stockpile when they're ready for future reclamation projects. This is just a winter specific job because of the haul roads as we've talked about. However, the nice thing about this cut, this is a different cut from where we were the, earlier this morning. This is froze up hard enough. There isn't a, a, there isn't a lot of water in this soil, so the trucks can run underneath this 395 here. That 395, nine and a half yard bucket, you'll see the chains in that bucket as well. They run chains in all of their buckets to knock out that material as it's moving around to keep it nice and clean. They also have a mini excavator with a ripper over there to clean out the buckets though when it gets real caked in, which is kind of funny. So that's what's going on here. They have triple sevens coming in, getting loaded by this 395. And then behind here is a 6015 loading the bigger 789s up on a bench, which looks kind of funny, but gotta do what you gotta do. You would think that they would make this entire area nice and flat, but you'll notice some undulations, some areas that they haven't cut out. That's been requested by Syncrude, the customer. So they'll come in here, they'll drill, they'll figure out what is in this soil and they have to have specific parameters within their subsoil. So some of these areas are not suitable subsoil. So they just say, hey, leave this area, leave this area, leave this area, but then dig out all around it. So that's what they're doing. They're digging out all of that suitable subsoil. They're leaving behind anything else that's just considered that overburdened waste, and that'll be handled by the bigger shovels. It has not gotten warmer today. Lights on the side of some of these trucks indicate when they're loaded. So green means throw it on. Flashing yellow, it's getting close. Yellow, it's right in that target payload area. Red, it's a little heavy. Now, if you'll have looked closely at some of this footage, you'll notice that Morgan believes in just, if it fits, it ships, load the truck. So it might get into that red territory, but that helps the excavator operator know how much is on that truck. It's also really important to note, this is arguably the most important part of reclamation is organizing your soil by type. This is all essential. If you mix all this soil up and just replace it all with overburden and try to put trees here, it wouldn't grow. All of this is gonna be organized and then replaced on that very top level so that this forest that was here before can grow for decades after they're done here. So behind me we have the 395 loading a 789. A little big for a 395, but it's filling her up. Right here is a 390 excavator equipped with a super ripper. The purpose of this is to rip primarily frozen ground ahead of the shovel, or they can rip limestone. Whatever you want to rip, you can rip with this. I didn't know that the stick is not just designed to maximize leverage, but it's actually over 50,000 pounds, so this machine Typically, a 390 is just under 200,000 pounds. This machine apparently is just over 250,000 pounds. So even without a bucket and a, a stick, you get a lot of additional weight on this machine. All of that weight is to press into that ripper, press into the earth, and then you have the leverage to then tear through it as effectively as possible.
With that, we're all done here with Morgan here at Sincrude. Thank you so much, Morgan, for the hospitality. Thank you to Sincrude Suncor for allowing us in with our cameras to show the world what the heck it takes to not only mine oil sands, but reclaim the land. Maybe you can learn something along the way. Really cold. We'll see you in the next one. Stay dirty, everybody.